All right, so the first way to tie this is the way that I normally do. And you just grab the rope and you twist a bite. And then you take that bite and you twist it again in the same direction. So this hole here is what we're gonna maintain. We're gonna take the end around the back side and we're gonna poke it through that hole. And then we'll dress and set it. And there's our alpine butterfly. So even after a hard load, you can flip it around to the back side. And you have these two ears here and you can crack them with your thumbs and introduce a little bit of slack and then just pull the bite out of the middle and the whole thing falls apart. So again, we grab the line, we're gonna twist a bite and then we're gonna grab the bite and twist it again in the same direction. And we'll maintain this hole here. We're gonna go around the back and we're gonna tuck it into that hole and then dress and set it. So that's the first way of tying the alpine butterfly and that's the way that I normally tie it for whatever reason. But let's look at the other way of tying the alpine butterfly. And a lot of people prefer it this way. So you take, the, you take your hand behind the rope, you know, put one loop around your hand and a second loop around your hand. And now you're gonna take the outermost one, and you're gonna tuck it back, and then you're gonna take, this one is now the outermost, you're gonna take it around, and then it's going to poke through the middle, like that. And then, tie, dress, and set. So that's the exact same alpine butterfly. So we'll untie it. Look at it one more time. So put your hand behind the rope. Just take one twist, take a second twist. You take the outermost loop, put it to the inside, and now take this outermost one, put it around, and you're gonna poke it through the middle, and then pull it and dress and set it.